49 people have been killed after a pair of shootings at two mosques. Uh, 48 others are being treated for gunshot wounds. The mosques were full of worshippers at the time. It was morning prayers. A uh, man in his late 20s has been charged with murder and will appear in court tomorrow. Police found two explosive devices attached to a vehicle that was stopped after what is being described as a terrorist attack. Officials say anybody who is thinking of going to a mosque anywhere in New Zealand at the moment should not do so. Now, a man who claimed responsibility for the shootings left a 74-page anti-immigrant manifesto in which he explained who he was and his reasoning for his actions. He said he was a 28-year-old white Australian and a racist. The Prime Minister said the national security threat level is being raised to its second highest level. Jacinda Ardern called it one of the darkest days for New Zealand. We are a proud nation of more than 200 ethnicities, 160 languages, and amongst that diversity we share common values. And the one that we place the currency on right now and tonight is our compassion and the support for the community of those directly affected by this tragedy. And secondly, the strongest possible condemnation of the ideology of the people who did this. You may have chosen us, but we utterly reject and condemn you. No agency had any information about these people. And I can also tell you that I've been in contact with my Australian colleagues. They have no information uh, on them at all either. And they are assisting with our inquiries. But I can also add that part of our investigation will to be look will to look be to look back at every possibility to ensure that we in law enforcement and security didn't miss any opportunities to prevent this horrendous event. What I did was basically waiting for that and praying to God, oh God, please now let this guy run out of bullets. And when it stopped, first time I went, but one guy was sitting out just beside a wall, and what he did was, he told me, no, no. And then I, I went back again, where I was. And next thing, the guy came and shot this guy who uh, told me not to get out. That was the same moment, and I know that guy. And he shot him straight in the chest. Yeah, I was uh, hearing that uh, shooting after shooting after shooting. It went on about um, uh, six uh, minutes or more, and uh, I could hear screaming and crying, and uh, I saw some people were, you know, drop dead, and um, uh, some people were running away. I was on the wheelchair. I, uh, uh, could not go anywhere and also I didn't want to because I was afraid what was going to happen to the ladies, what was going to happen to my wife. So I stayed there but luckily the shooter, he did his massacre inside the mosque and uh, he did not uh, come at the back otherwise he could have got me. Now the shooter actually live streamed this attack on Facebook in a 17 minute video. Witnesses who saw the video say the gunman began shooting indiscriminately upon entering the mosque. Facebook has since taken down the video and the account that posted it. The social media platform will also continue to look for copies of the video on its site and remove them as it finds them. Facebook put out this statement, quote, New Zealand police alerted us to a video on Facebook shortly after the live stream commenced. We will continue working directly with New Zealand police as their response and investigation continues. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and the community affected by this horrendous act, end quote. And Queen Elizabeth has put out a statement reading, I have been deeply saddened by the appalling events in Christchurch today. Prince Philip and I send our condolences to the families and friends of those who have lost their lives. I also pay tribute to the emergency services and volunteers who are providing support to those who have been injured. At this tragic time, my thoughts and prayers are with all New Zealanders. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau reacting to the New Zealand mosque attacks as well. He tweets, attacking people during prayers is absolutely appalling and Canada strongly condemns today's shootings in New Zealand. Our thoughts and hearts go out to the victims and their families and we join New Zealanders and Muslim communities around the world in grieving. U.S. President Donald Trump has put out this tweet. My warmest sympathy and best wishes goes out to the people of 
New Zealand after the horrible massacre in the mosques. 49 innocent people have so senselessly died with so many more seriously injured. The U.S. stands by New Zealand for anything we can do. God bless all. And security is being stepped up in mosques around the world, including in London, Chicago, and France. The Toronto police have issued a statement regarding any threat to public safety. The Toronto Police Service continuously monitors security issues within the city of Toronto and around the world. In response, we make the appropriate adjustments to our plans in order to mitigate the potential risks to public safety. And keeping it local here, our